Hey what's up guys welcome to the channel Apple has just released the iOS 17.1.2 along with the iPad OS 17.1.2 and macOS Sonoma 14.1.2 in this video we will only look into the iOS update so let's dive into the video this update is available for iPhone 10s and later and the update size is 1.26 GB that's because I'm updating from iOS 17.0.3 this size would be way smaller if you're updating from 17.1.1 let's proceed with the update and it took about 10 minutes to complete and now it's updated so let's check the versions in the settings it's iOS 17.1.2 and you can also find the build number of the update here and the modem firmware is also updated so let's come to the point what's new and why Apple has released this now while the iOS 17.2 release is expected in a couple of weeks. The answer is this is a minor upgrade and you can find the reason in the Apple security nodes. So these are the two WebKit patches and the first one says processing web content may disclose sensitive information. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited against versions of iOS before iOS 16.7.1. And the description of the fix is an outbound read was addressed with improved input validation. The second WebKit bug was processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited against versions of iOS before iOS 16.7.1. And the description of the fix reads a memory corruption vulnerability was addressed with improved locking. So if this is only a security patch. It's always better to update when you have a security fix so your phone is not exploited. There are no bug fixes or feature updates. Some of those who have updated to iOS 17.1.1 had Wi-Fi connectivity issues on iPhone 15 and there was also wireless charging issues for iPhone 15 in GMC vehicles. There's no mention of any fixes for these issues in this update. So hopefully these bugs will be patched in the iOS 17.2 major update you will also notice a performance update if you update from ios 17.0.1 as per the benchmark result however there is no performance improvement if you update from ios 17.1.1 this update is all about security fixes when you're using the web browser and if you're concerned about the security you can proceed with the update if you have any questions please drop a comment below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will catch you in the next video.